Hi, I'm Pete Williams from Infinity Telecommunications and thanks for taking the time to watch this short video that we've put together for you to get an understanding of how a phone system works. So while you're going through the process of figuring out which solution works best for you, have a bit more of an understanding. Now, there's a few elements that make up a phone system and let's go through them all now. The first thing is the actual phone system itself. It's technically you know, a small box it's going to be actually screwed to the wall somewhere in your comms room or under a desk or something like that. And this PABX or the box is the brains of the phone system. This is where the phone lines come into and all the phone handsets go out from. It's where the thinking's done, where the calls are transferred from, all that sort of stuff. Now, along with the actual phone system itself, you obviously have a series of handsets. So you might have a handset here for the receptionist, for Tom, Julie and Ben, for example, whoever it might be, you four staff members. Now, on top of these uh, four handsets for the staff, you might also have, or you will also have to have, phone line coming into the phone system. So these are, say for example, three regular phone lines for anyone from Telstra to Optus to AAPT or M2, doesn't matter who they are. All the phone lines come into the system. Now, something that a lot of people get confused with and don't actually understand is, but even they have a phone system oops, with four or five handsets for the staff members, you can only have as many people on the phone call as you do phone lines. So if you want to have three staff members on phone calls at the same time, you're going to have to have three phone lines for that to actually work. Now, another thing with phone lines that people don't really get when it comes to phone systems is how the calls actually are handled when they come in. Let's say, for example, if we go with Green Pen here, and the first call comes into your office, they ring your main office line and the call comes into your phone system there on that first phone line. That line will maybe ring the receptionist's phone and he or she may be on the call dealing with the uh, first caller. Now, let's say for example another call comes in. So if another call is actually trying to ring your main phone line but the receptionist is already on that phone call, what happens at a carrier level, this is at the Telstra level or the AAPT level, back on the street? The phone system is not involved at this stage. It's still at the actual phone exchange, which is a Telstra. They realise that this first line is actually engaged and divert the call to the second line so it can come through. So the second line comes in, can either go to the receptionist or might go out to Ben's line, for example. And same again if a third caller calls in, calls the main number, it rotates through until it finds a third available line and that phone call comes into the phone system as well. Now a big thing you have to realise is, is if all three lines are now occupied by uh, tele telephone conversations, if a fourth call comes in, there's no fourth line to get into the phone system. So what actually happens is the caller will get an engaged signal. Now the only way to overcome this is actually have a myriad of phone lines. You can have 100 phone lines and if all 100 lines are busy, the 101st caller is going to get an engaged signal as well. So that's essentially how a phone line side of things work. In terms of calls being uh, transferred around the office, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. The call comes into receptionist here, and the call is actually meant to be for Julie, who's down here. All the uh, receptionist has to do is put the caller on hold and transfer the call back out to Julie. And then the call gets run through to Julie's phone, she can end the conversation, and then she can simply end the conversation by hanging up. That's a really brief overview of how phone systems work, and I hope it gives you a bit more of an understanding when making your decision. If you have any questions, please call our team on the number above or simply email with a request to quote and we're happy to help you out and walk through all, all this in more detail for you. Thanks guys and enjoy the rest of the site. Bye.